Welcome back, everybody. How is it that their brain buys you? Their mind, which is what they think with when they do think, people are non-conscious. In other words, they're sort of acting on stimulus response. What do you do all day? You answer an email, right? You, you go through your email list and, and you get your, your, your list of emails and it's like there's one, you know, spam, 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 spam. Oh, I'll, I'll answer that one. And then you open it, person asks a question, talks to you, and you respond. All that stimulus response, you could do that, well, you do do it when you're non-conscious, right? Almost everything that we do in the course of the day is non-conscious. About 90% of the people approximately are non-conscious about 90% of the time. This is one of the reasons that people are so easy to influence, especially when they're in groups. But that is their brain buying their own behavior. How does their brain buy you? So how do you get a person to go into consciousness and buy you all at the same time? because now you're asking a brain and a mind to be active at the same time. And you need their brain to like you because anybody can rationalize and logically look at you and say, gosh, you're a really nice person. I like you very much. You're good to do business with. Now, here's where the buts come in. But, 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 here's the thing, but I'm frustrated. I don't like this. I don't want to do this. I don't know if I feel comfortable with this. Million things, right? That's the brain talking. The brain is the part that goes, oh, watch out. There's danger here. Watch out. This is a bad idea. Watch out. And the brain's not any smarter than the mind. In fact, the brain isn't anywhere near as smart as the mind. And most people make almost all of their decisions based on raw gut emotion. That's really good if a lizard is chasing you, if the dinosaur's coming down the street and you have to run. Really good if you're um, swimming and the uh, shark is coming for you. All that's where your brain is necessary. Those survival pieces, everything else, except for the areas where you're an expert in, and an absolute expert beyond anybody in the whole world, like you know, if you're the best chess player in the world, uh, sure. Okay, but otherwise, no. So how do you get their brain to buy you? How do you get that part of them that sees danger in everything around you and relevant to you? How do you get them to buy you, that brain to buy you? First thing is you have to get that brain's attention. You have to capture that brain's attention. Now, capturing the brain's attention can do any of the kind of cool tools and techniques and strategies and tactics I've talked about with you guys over the last several years. Uh, with persuasion influence, anything. But getting attention is critical. If you don't get the attention, you don't make the sale, you don't get the relationship, you don't get married, you don't, nothing happens. If you don't get attention, nothing happens. So the person can say, well, let me have th time to think about it. The reality is, is they won't ever think about it. Nothing, but if, if that's a surprise, be surprised, okay? But that's, that's how it really works in real life. They can't think about it because they go back to non-conscious behavior, and as soon as non-consciousness comes in, all thought leaves. So you have to get attention and then you have to hold it. How do you hold attention? You have to be as captivating in second number two as you were in second number one when you captured attention. So how do you capture and hold attention? Well, there's a couple of basic tools, but and I could spend some time on that, but we'll do that in another video. I'll just tell you one, surprise. Surprise is one of the coolest tools in the whole wide world. If you can think of how you can make something surprising, in the eyes of someone else, that is what people will look at most of the time. So what are the most popular YouTube videos? Are they on persuasion or body language or influence or wealth building? No, of course not. They're about kids jumping off of a roof and landing on their head and having, a, having their head split open like a watermelon. Those are the things that are really popular. Why? Because it captivated their attention, they were surprised, and then it held their attention because you wanted to see what was gonna happen next. Those are the kind of things that capture and hold attention. I'm not suggesting you do that, by the way, please don't, but you get the idea, right? Third thing is after you've captured their attention and you've held it, now you've got them. This has been shut out for them. Now what do you do? Now you have to make a bold promise, a bold promise. You have to say, look, you watch the rest of this video, I'm gonna give you three really cool steps that you can use to having their brain by you. If you watch them, great. If you don't, you'll never know, and everybody else will benefit and you will lose. Okay, so the fourth thing that you do to get the person's brain to buy you is you've got to get them to detach from other commitments. So now you've gotten their attention, you've held their attention, you've made a bold promise like, hey, I'm great for you, I'm the best, my company's the best, our project, product service uh, idea is the best for your, your experience, your project, your, your company, so go ahead and use us or use me, buy me, I'm, I'm on sale right now. 
But then you have to get them to detach from their other commitments. If it's a relationship, they got to cut off the other girlfriend or the other boyfriend. If it's a business, they have to quit doing business with that other person. Okay, you got to get them to stop that. How would they do that? Why would they do that? You have to come up, have them come up. Why would you want to stop doing business with them? I'm telling you right now, there is always a reason that person should not be married to that person, in a relationship with that person, doing business with that person, having a, a project being completed with that person over there. There are as many downsides as upsides. It's very easy to get people to come up with reasons why they shouldn't be doing something they currently are. Almost nothing is going well for anybody most of the time in most settings. No kidding. Next up, you have to over deliver because I'll tell you what, they don't. Okay, they don't over deliver. So the first thing is you make a big promise and then you make a bigger delivery. So when you say, here's what I'm going to do for you, then you deliver this much and you make sure that the delivery is delivered. The person knows that delivery is there and there's nobody out there who can do it as well as you and me, nobody. And if they think there is, let them go look, let them try it out. Okay, but they'll come back because they know that there's nobody else who can do it as good as you can. And finally, you got to show them how to spread you around. You need them to spread word about you around. You need them to talk about you in a viral fashion. Oh, Kev, he's great, man. I tell you, I went and saw him down at boot camp one time, or I saw him over at the, the event down in Texas or in Palm Springs or over in London. It was just wonderful. We had a great time. I learned so much stuff. My hand almost fell off. I wrote down so many notes and I got so much stuff. I applied. Our business has been going crazy. That's what you have to get. Okay, you got to make it go viral. Get attention, hold attention, make a bold promise, over deliver big time. So when anybody sees you do something, they know that it's way better than anybody else. You must over deliver all the time. And then you got to show them that they must spread the news about you. But not by saying, oh, by the way, please tell somebody about me. No, no, no. Say, if you like this and you think that I can help them and still do best for you, let me know if I can help them. I'll be happy to look at it. All right, guys, have a great day and I'll see you here next time.